It's not news that Texas is growing. As urban areas expand into native habitats, displaced wildlife can become familiar visitors. But in some areas, there's one you might not think of. Due to the recent urban sprawl into the javelina habitat, there has been an increase of encounters. Communities often ask if they can trap and remove javelinas, or if the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department can trap and relocate them. However, this is not an effective solution. So javelinas are territorial animals. So by removing one would only mean that others will replace the ones that were removed. There are also laws that protect javelinas. Because they're a game animal, you cannot trap them, you cannot kill them without the legal permits. Especially within our cities, it is illegal to discharge any firearms. Those are not available options that allow us to manage them. What communities should do is determine what is attracting javelinas. Some of the landscape plant species that some of the homeowners are using are cacti, pricky pear, oak trees, mesquite. So some of those are providing unintentionally food sources to them, such as the mesquite beans or the pricky pear. Homeowners may be unknowingly attracting javelinas. One of the best things to mitigate the javelina encounters around our neighborhoods is to remove all the food and water sources that we might be providing either to our pets or also the bird feeders that people are providing at their backyard are dumping a bunch of food on the ground. So that's the reason why javelinas are around our neighborhoods. Since removing javelinas is not effective, you can remove what attracts them. One of the techniques that we recommend is to keep our trash bins locked, remove the pet food at night, keep it inside, have our pet on a leash when we go for an evening walk. If you see a javelina, the best thing you can do is just take a couple of steps in the opposite direction and do not try to approach it. Like with every other wildlife, they're gonna try to protect their own personal space. Just keep your distance. Loud noises can also be effective. Or if an area is irrigated, you can time the sprinklers to spray when the javelinas frequent the location. Another practical tool for managing javelinas is to use fencing. Whether that's like a physical barrier or an electrified fence, that could help tremendously to keep those javelinas away from the property. Fencing, like net wire and hog panels, will need to be sturdy and should go all the way to the ground. Although fencing can be a practical tool when it's available, it's very expensive. Javelina encounters are usually a community issue and should be addressed at that level. The first thing you gotta remember is to reach out to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Biologist. Later, you can start reaching out to your neighbors and, and start discussing the problem that you are encountering so you all can be on the same page and understand how you're gonna implement the wildlife management plan designed by the local biologist. Javelinas are native to Texas, but many people confuse them with an invasive species, feral pigs. The difference between javelinas and feral pigs is actually huge. Javelinas are really unique species because they are actually more closely related to hippopotamus, genetically speaking, as they are to feral pigs. The main difference between a javelina and a feral pig is that javelinas have a white collar around their neck, whereas like feral pigs don't have any. This white collar gives the javelina its other name, the collared peccary, and there are other differences. Javelinas come in a grizzly blackish color all the time, whereas feral pigs come in multicolor. Javelinas range from South America, up through Mexico, and just into the southwestern United States. The only states in the United States that have javelina is Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. That's also why, you know, javelinas are so unique, because in the whole U.S., this is one out of the three states that have javelina. Next time you see a javelina, you can appreciate that you have javelinas around you. Not everybody can say the same thing. Javelinas just need room and a little respect. They're here to stay. They're native to Texas. 
And the best thing we can do is to adapt to it and understand that we are sharing the same habitat. For more information on javelinas or to contact your local wildlife biologists, see the video description below.